Welcome to a new RS Instruments tutorial. In this video you will learn how to install and link MySQL Server with Digivive MX. First, you will have to download the software from the official page. Then, double click on MySQL Installer Community. It's important to be connected to the internet when you are installing the software. In the wizard main page, click Next. In the Select Products to Upgrade, select the connector net if not already selected and click Next. The Apply Updates window will show the product select in the window before. Click Execute and wait until the update is completed and click Next. In this window, click Finish. In the MySQL Installer window, choose the Add option. In Select Products and Features window, select in the navigation tree MySQL Servers. Then, click MySQL Server 5.7 and then, according to your system, select 64 bits or 32 bits. Click on the arrow button and then the product will appear on the right panel. In the navigation tree, click Applications. Then, click MySQL Workbench. Choose MySQL Workbench 8.0 and then, according to your system, select 64 bits or 32 bits. Click on the arrow button and the product will appear on the right panel. Once these products are added, click Next. In the installation window, click Execute. Wait until the installation is complete and click Next. In the product configuration window, click Next. In the high availability window, choose the standalone MySQL server, this to have a better performance. In the type and networking window, it's recommended to choose server computer in the config type and click on the name pipe box. Click Next. In the Accounts and Roles window, type a secure password for the root and then choose Next. In the Apply Configuration window, click Execute and wait until the changes are applied, then click Finish. In the Product Configuration window, choose Next. In the next window, you can select if you want to start my SQL Workbench right now or later. Then click Finish. Now you will be in the MySQL Installer window again showing all the software installed. Now you can close the window. Wait for MySQL Workbench to start. Here we can find a default instance but we can also create a new one with the plus button. Choose a name and then click OK. When you click any of the instances, the software will ask you for the password you wrote when installing. Once the instance is open, right-click on the Schemas panel and choose Create Schema. Here you can create a new database inside our instance. Choose the name and then click Apply. Then OK and to finish, click Apply. To connect to the database through Digivive, with the Connect button choose My SQL option and then click Localhost. Here, write the name of the database, keep the root user and write the password of the instance. Then, click OK. Once again, click OK and allow to create the necessary tables. Assign a name to the database for Digivive to recognize it and it's done. The connection to your database is a success. I hope this video has been helpful to you. For more tutorials, visit eversinstruments.com.